We are visiting Umbria in Italy, traveling by train to the city of Spoleto, where we are going to spend some quality time on the main pedestrian street, showing you the people, the shops, and the grand tradition of the passeggiata, the evening stroll. You'll also find out how to play tennis with your feet using a soccer ball. The province of Umbria is located in central Italy with many fine towns, and one of the most interesting is Spoleto. Easy to reach because it's connected along one of the main lines of the Italian rail system, which is always a comfortable way to travel. Or you could drive a car and you'll find plenty of public parking lots in the city. Some of the nice little towns in Umbria are not connected by train. You have to get there by bus, and that works out okay also. But here, take the train, and when you get out of the train station, you step right in front, and there are shuttle buses that will take you to the old town. It's about a kilometer walk, so it's better to take the bus, especially if you have a suitcase, and let the driver do all the work. Notice the huge black metal sculpture in front of the station. It's a monumental stabile by Alexander Calder. If you were to walk the one kilometer from the station to the old town, it just takes about 10 or 15 minutes. So that's a reasonable walk, but it's not terribly interesting. You just pass by some bland modern buildings along the way. So stick with the bus, or you could take a taxi, which would be especially good if you're staying at a small hotel in the middle of the old town, where the buses don't go. The minibus is certainly popular with the locals, and it brings you right to Piazza della Vittoria, which is the gateway leading you into the old town. You're greeted by a small park with fountain and benches, a loggia nearby, there's hotels and shops around it, and the Church of San Gregorio Maggiore. This leads directly into the main pedestrian street of Spoleto, the wonderful Corso Giuseppe Garibaldi, where we are about to spend some quality time taking a stroll along this grand promenade back and forth during the day and into the evening. It is the perfect place for people watching and for shopping and eating. This video was photographed during the off season in the month of November which turned out to be a great time to be here in Spoleto because the weather was still quite mild, just jacket weather, even in the evening, and there was no other tourists. You're going to be walking along the main lane here at a peak time of day, and you'll notice while there are plenty of people out strolling, there do not seem to be any other tourists here except for me, who's taking the pictures. So that is quite nice and refreshing in this day and age of over-tourism where really popular cities get super crowded. Places like Florence and Siena in this central Italy area are very popular and wonderful places to see. But other towns like Spoleto, which are also really quite attractive and a fine destination to visit, just are not crowded with tourists. At this time of year in Italy, the twilight arrives fairly early in the evening. And as that happens, more and more people come out for the stroll. It's the classic passeggiata, the Italian parade of people just strolling along at a leisurely pace, doing a little window shopping. It's a big pastime in Italy. Come on out, dress up, see your friends, say hello, catch up on the latest news. People of all ages, take part in this sociable performance from the youngest babies in their strollers to the oldest members of the community, some of whom just take it in from the sidelines. All too often we fly through our lives as if there was no tomorrow in some kind of supersonic speed, but here in Italy, in the evening and the passeggiata, people are not in a hurry. They are going to just slow down and relax. It's a fun way to fill some time after work and before dinner. And while some snack shops and pizzerias are open this early, it's not really a time for dinner yet. That comes afterwards. Store hours can be a little mysterious for the foreign visitor who might want to do some midday shopping to find out that most of the stores are closed, closed for siesta and lunch. And then they reopen and generally stay open till about 8 p.m. People living in the smaller Italian hill towns do a lot of walking during the day. 
That's how they'll get around. The streets are largely for pedestrians rather than driving a car, as many people do in the West. And while this walking is not a vigorous exercise, it is a healthy way to get around. And then walking up and down the inclined streets adds another dimension to the benefits. One of the side streets right off this main lane is sometimes converted into a ball field. The whole family comes out and the young kids start kicking the ball around. And one of the unusual sports here is playing tennis with a soccer ball using your feet and your head. They even have several games going at the same time on this one block. What do you call this game? Tennis football. Tennis football. Tennis. Tennis. Calcio tennis. Calcio tennis. Football, calcio, tennis, tennis. It's a real family activity with the parents sitting around, having a good time, clowning around a little bit. They just take over the cafe tables and the street and turn it into their playground and outdoor living room. These people live right here in the general neighborhood of the old town right nearby. And there are not that many park areas, green fields for playing soccer. So they make the most of it by turning the street into a ball field having a lot of fun, blowing off some steam, and getting in some good practice for the time when they're going to be playing in an actual game. It all seems very casual here, but there's some competition. The young mother's keeping score, and the guys are concentrating to get it in the right hole with high points for the accurate kick. These young lads are on the same team, and that nurtures a social connection that keeps the families and the neighbors joined together with a strong sense of community. And then when the games are over, the parents and coach help to clean up and put the goals back in the truck, and the football stadium once again becomes a side street. Meanwhile, back on Corso Garibaldi, the passeggiata continues. People are gathering in bigger numbers now as it gets a little bit later. Multi-generations out together. Even the dogs have a chance to say hello. You'll notice that the main goal of this evening ritual is not trying to get from one place to another. It's just to go out and have a chat, take a walk, get out of your small apartment, and say hello to your friends. For the locals, this is just another day. But for the visitor who's paying attention, it's really something quite remarkable that you might not find back in your own hometown. Various conditions helpfully come together to make this ritual possible, such as having an extensive pedestrian zone and a main pedestrian lane, and a community that lives in fairly close proximity to the center of town the kind of place where people get to know each other. We have reached the end of the street and end of the program, but we do have two other shows about Spoleto, covering a walking tour in the main pedestrian lanes and also bringing you into the castle and museums and cultural highlights of the city. Be sure to look for them in our collection. We frequently upload new movies, so please subscribe to our channel and click that little alarm bell so you'll be notified. And if you enjoyed the movie, how about a thumbs up? And we always welcome comments down below.